Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Hurdy Gurdy. This time we're going into Belder Spring. I actually enjoyed this level quite a bit. Um, it's hard, but like, it's a really fun level. I like the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll let this play out real quick. It is I, the mighty Belder. What business do you have in my tomb? I need to get the magic feather. <laughs> what makes you think you are worthy of possessing my feather? It is for no mere mortal to use. Hey, <laughs> get off! I said get off! Get off! Get these infernal creatures! I said, give me my hand! <laughs> Let go! Oh, bother. What's wrong? It's these godforsaken creatures. They keep stealing my bones and hiding them. It takes hours to get them back, and then they just take them again. Hey, I'll tell you what. How about if I get rid of them and find your missing bones and you give me the feather? What do you say? Mm, well, okay, but only if you get all of my bones back. Sure. Alrighty, so this level is really kind of fun. Um, even though I wasn't, I did kind of a bad job the first time through. Um, I actually had quite a bit of fun playing through this level, and I like the elevation and um, like the bridge mechanic. Well, not the mechanic, but like the bridge idea for the level in which you can run around these ent like entangling bridges and stuff to get one from to one point to another i thought that was pretty neat so there are a few gromps here that you want to take care of first um not in like a gold mine gorge type of way but more so in a just get them out of the way so that you don't have to deal with them uh type of way but in order to do that, you need to move a few of these bleeps. Um, so let's see. Now, I think I remember this being like the second or third attempt at this level as the footage you're watching. So I think I already knew that I wanted to get these bleeps out of the way um, so that they didn't accidentally fall into the water when I needed them to. So what makes this level kind of annoying though? is that you need to be very careful um, with the creatures that you're handling and you need to make sure that they don't die like not too many of them die and you need to make sure that specific amounts of creatures are in an area such that you can fill in their pens um, the only way to get Belder's hands and skull is to fill in two pens with two specific pens with the bleeps and one specific gromp pen and um, the first time through of course I didn't know that because it's my first playthrough of this game all right I don't think anyone who's not using a guide wouldn't realize that right but um, and that's kind of why I had to restart this because I kind of figured that out too late i had already lost too many i spent like an hour and a half on this level alone uh due to the fact that i accidentally had killed too many bleeps but if you're careful um you shouldn't have to worry about them dying too much or at least you shouldn't have to worry about not being able to progress enough uh, so what I like to do is move these bleeps out of the way far enough away so that I feel like the gromps won't necessarily go after them uh, but not far enough away where they have to turn around and fall into the river so it's kind of like a, like a double-edged sword here 
but if you do everything right, hopefully the Gromps won't notice you. Um, I'm just going to move them a tad closer just so that they don't really interfere with everything going on right now. And I think that's good enough. So we're going to gra grab this Gromp. He is blocking the bleeps pen so I can't even safely put them away without having to move this grump. So I'm going to have to move the bleeps first in order to get to this grump right here. And once he sees you, you're going to start to run. No, nope, he hasn't seen me yet. Once he sees you, you're going to start to run out of here. And then you're going to wait for the camera to stop fucking up. So that way... Uh... Oh, yeah, okay, that didn't happen. That was on the first part, the first playthrough. Uh, the camera got stuck on the wall. I couldn't see where I was going, and the grump got me. And then he ate all my bleeps. <laughs> so fuck that guy. Fuck this camera. Well, and with that... I've got an arm back. And with that, you got an arm. Neat. Alrighty. So, now that we got that Gromp in, we can actually bring in these bleeps. So we don't have to worry about them too much. And we're just going to do the same thing we do with the ground. We're just going to weave these bleeps through the pens. Or not through the pens, through the fences. Underneath the waterfall into their pen. And that shouldn't be too bad. I like how they have a fence behind the waterfall so that the bleeps don't accidentally walk off the edge. Kill themselves. <laughs> I swear, these fucking animals are suicidal, man. Like, I'm not even trying to make a joke about that. Like, dead ass. They just, they just try and fucking kill themselves. It's... Kind of depressing. <laughs> so, yep, that's all the bleeps in this area. Oh, I got stuck. Perfect. That's all the bleeps in that area. Perfect. Uh, Alright, what else is next? So, we got the bleeps down from the ledge and the bleeps around the corner. And we got the gromp pin. So, now we got to do the bleeps that are up on the top as well as the gromps around the top, and there's also the gromp that's around the hill. Uh, these bleeps are super easy, so we're just going to grab these bleeps. I kind of forgot about them. That's how easy they were. You head down here. And down here is a secret bridge that leads next to Belder's skeleton, or at least the mountain that he's on. This is a little cave, and in here is another bleep pen. I don't know if this one's important or not. Oh, this one is. Oh, you found my skull. Hey. Perfect. So we found his skull now. That's great. So now we need one more. And I think the last one is either a gromp or the last bleep. I don't remember if it was two gromps and one bleep or two bleeps and one gromp. I don't remember. Uh, I could have sworn it was two bleeps and one gromp because I thought the last one was the gromp on the hill. Uh, which is, I think, right over here, now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, he's right, yeah, it's, it is the Gromp, so it's two Gromps, one, one bleep, pen. Uh, be careful, sometimes the Gromp will launch you up here, and if you fall, you're gonna land on the water, and that's gonna spawn you right on the ledge. And if you're unlucky like me, sometimes there's a Gromp waiting for you, and, uh, well, he'll knock you back up onto the ledge, forcing you to play a game of uh, will I drown today and then if you fail that game you're going to uh, accidentally get put back right on the ledge in which the Gromp will decide that he wants to punch you in the fucking face again but this one was nice enough to drown me and then punch me in the fucking face only for me to just be fed up with this shit and then just want to you know not want to deal with this so we're going to say no to this game and uh, uh, fucking jump this way instead. So don't do what I did. <laughs> Fuck, man. <clears throat> so you can actually jump on these little rings right here, but I wouldn't chance it because if you're me and you suck, you're gonna suck and fall in the water. Duh. That's pretty self-explanatory, right? You don't need me to tell you that. <laughs> and now a grandpa's chasing me, but I don't know. Oh, shit. There he is. 
Alright, so this ground won't chase you up this ramp for whatever reason, so I guess it's a safe area. So we're gonna grab these bleeps. Uh, but these bleeps are in danger. In danger of death. <laughs> and uh, you gotta make sure that these bleeps down here are safe. Oh shit, I thought I was being chased by the grump. So what I like to do is move the bleeps up the hill right here such that, that the grump doesn't decide that he wants to maul their faces into the ground. Um, it didn't work once, like on the first time, time I tried to do this. For some reason the grump got uh, locked onto one of the bleeps and he just couldn't keep his eyes away, but he couldn't reach them so it was weird. But with that grump caught, all the other bleeps are free to move around, which is good. Um, I would recommend moving the bleeps that you put up here away first because I had it such that they fell when I brought the other group in to mingle with them because they had to run to the back of the line. And when they ran to the back of the line, they fell off the edge and died. Uh, because end game spoilers. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't call something funny. <laughs> they were very sad about the ending of end game and then they, they had to just fucking, you know, end it all. Right then and there. It was like it was like when Peter died, you know? Fucking Spider Man. You know, I can't take that scene, man. Hits me in the feels every time, man. I love I love I love Spider Man. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. There's still a Gromp that will kill them. So we're going to try and move them up here, up on this bridge. And then we're going to move them over here onto this windy path up here. But I just remember that there's actually a Gromp up here too. So be careful. Uh, we're going we're gonna to lure the Gromp first because he's in front of that pen. And I don't want to have to deal with him when he's not in front of the pen. Or rather, when he is in front of the pen and I have to bring the bleeps over there. So we're going to bring the Gromp, and he's going to follow us. And then he's going to get captured because he's not very smart. And I'm smarter than him. I'm smarter than the average Gromp. And, uh, yeah. Just not that one Gromp that kept punching me into the, the pillar and then I kept falling into the water. Yeah, that Gromp is smarter than me. But uh, I outwitted him by... Uh, avoiding playing his stupid game. His very dangerous water death game. Fuck that guy. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna grab these bleeps. And they kill themselves. Oh my fucking god, they kill themselves. Well, let's hope this pen isn't important. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I remember this. I was like, god fucking damn it. Oh, I was so angry. I remember that. Because <laughs> I was doing everything perfectly. Oh. Oh, well. You lose, you win some, you lose some. It's not that big a deal. These bleeps don't really matter in the end because um, the last piece is with the Gromp anyway. So. I don't really have to worry about it all too much. I don't have it. I don't. It doesn't need to, like, be heavy on my mind that I killed two or three bleeps because they, they wanted to just jump off the edge of a bridge. <laughs> the fucking bleeps, man. Whew. Alrighty. Oh, wait. I didn't get them all. Only one of them. Sir. Oh, that was a ghost. I was like, yo, what is that thing on? Holy shit. I thought that was the bleep. It fell all the way down. Oh my god, it fell all the way down onto this little puddle right here. Onto this, not puddle, on this little island right here. Holy shit. So that means that guy tried killing himself and he failed. I'm happy. I'm happy you didn't succeed in terminating your life. But uh, I'm going to need you to stop being an idiot. Because uh, I would like to save you. And... Put you in your pen. I'm getting 
very dark in this episode <laughs> about fucking suicide. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is a bummer. I apologize. Anyway, we're gonna move on uh, with my cringy death jokes, and we're gonna try and move this bleep all the way around, much like his bleepy brethren, and uh, fucking walk around this twisty spiral bridge of doom and fucking make it. Alrighty. Actually, we're almost done with this level, now that I think about it, because there's only one more bone, and it's the ground. But yeah, I was unable to save two of them. Uh, they ended up falling off a bridge, which sucks. And uh, we're just gonna have to wait until I can figure out where to go next. So, where to go next is definitely that little area over the hill where the Gromp was. Every time I see that ghost, I keep seeing a white Gromp. And there are white Gromps. You'll see them later on in a different level. But yeah, so we're going to try my best to hop over here without failing miserably. Perfect. Uh, these bleeps are fine where they are, I believe. I don't think they're in danger. So we're just going to move on. Let's see. Okay, so here's the pen. Here's the last bone. Right there, the hand. And we're going to try and lure this Gromp up here. This guy can be a little tricky because he can see you from the bottom. And sometimes it'll take him a little while to, to truly get to you. But he's not very hard. In fact, I'd say he's one of the easier ones to do. But sometimes you see, like, he gets caught and then starts to run down again. I don't know why he does that. It's weird. But uh, if you wait right here and boop, we beat the level. <laughs> Check out this mighty hand. Ah, that's much better. Thank you for that. He shouldn't be bothering me anymore. Hey, it's okay. I needed some practice. Now about that feather. Indeed, you have proven yourself a most extraordinary young man. I hope this will help you on your journey. Yep, and we got a feather well, for our troubles. Go and get your prize. And thank you once again. Bye then. And yep, we got a feather for our troubles, but since I am a semi-completionist at heart, and by that I mean I, I try my best to do as much as possible until I end up not giving a shit. <laughs> it happens more often than I'd like to admit. Uh, we're going to try and save these bleeps. So, uh, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's save the bleeps. It's the new PETA, the new PETA objective. Saving the bleeps. We're gonna move past this grump. We're gonna just go down the bridge. And um, I thought the last bone was actually over here in my first run through of this level, like the one that you guys aren't getting to see. Uh, so I tried my best to grab these guys and put them over there, but they got stuck for some reason. Like they fell off the ledge, and I was unable to save them. So I ended up just getting frustrated <laughs> and using the horn and just made them run off the edge and, and they died. And then I reset the level. Twice. But, yep, yeah, that is everything. Stage cleared. So all that's up to do is pick up the feather and head out. But since I haven't climbed the mountain yet, I have yet to show that to you guys. So we're going to have to... See what I'm talking about? Like, look at that hop, man. Yo, Mario can't make that jump on his first try. And he probably can. <laughs> you probably need Flood, though. <laughs> Alright, I'm just kidding. I love Mario games. So we're gonna jump over here, hop up here, and then uh, pl play a little Bob on Battlefield, you know, and then uh, beat Koopa the Quick up the mountaintop, pick up our Baldur's Feather, and leave, because we have nothing else to do here. We, we did everything. So kudos for us. Alrighty. So, with the feather, we can actually go back 
and uh, do some things. We can actually go back to Valley Floor. We can go to the Gorge, pick up those bells, but we're not going to do that. Uh, there's no need for that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye, guys.